Hi guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this surreal dramatic artwork using a simple layer masking technique in Photoshop. So sit back, grab a popcorn, and let's make this a movie. Hey, so first things first, we start with a simple definition of masking, which means to cover something or to hide something. And we apply this a lot in Photoshop when we wanna knock off a background in an image or we probably just want to hide a particular part of a subject and we don't want to reveal that part so we tend to mask it that's the idea of masking basically quite simple right and now we're gonna look at doing a few exercises just so we get the idea all right now let's go i'll be using this image i got for my stock i'll leave the link in the description box of course you can use any image of your choice uh, but this is this does it for me so yeah so the first thing I want to do is to change this background and I like to always use a grey background and that's because there will be a lot of drama going on with the subject so I like to keep my background simple and very plain. And this kind of gives the artwork this premium vibe. You know sometimes less is more and we're already doing a lot with the subject so the background just has to be plain so that one can focus more on the subject. And now to start with the glare mask technique, let's get our parameters right. First thing I want to make sure that my foreground is black and my background is white. Now I'll click on the brush tool and for now I want to make my opacity 100 and my flow 100. And then with that done, I want to activate the mask icon beneath the layer right there. Okay. Let me check this again. Okay, now it's time for me to apply the brush tool on the face. And when I do that, it knocks off that part of the face, but it doesn't knock it off permanently. It basically hides that part of the face. So, so when I switch the foreground color to white and the background color to black, and I apply on that same spot on the face, I can bring back the image, the whatever was hidden and bring that back so that's basically the concept of masking and then when i tweak the setting of the brush i can make it a hard brush and i can make it a soft brush when it's a hard brush and it's applied on this image it gives this sharp edges it has a sharp edge and if it's a soft brush obviously it's gonna have soft edges i can also reduce the opacity and flow just so i can get softer edges and i can totally be in control of how I blend my images together and this just the concept of photo manipulation that I enjoy so much and I've used it for a lot of artworks. So that's it guys, I hope you get the idea and now it's time for us to get to the real work. Let's go. All right, now here we go. First thing I want to do is to select the part of the image that I need. Um, I'll be using a pen tool for that. I'm using a pen tool because I want it to be very precise and very clean. And in using this pen tool, all I have to do is to create nodes, which creates parts. And I also tweak the anchor point just so it goes in the direction that I want it to go. And that's basically the idea of the pen tool. Um, it's quite easy, but you have to, you know, practice. Like I always say, you have to practice so you can get better with it. So that's it. So and once I'm done with this process, I just right click, make selection, and then I mask it. That was quite simple. Next thing I want to do is to create soft edges around my subject. So I'll do that by activating my brush tool, reduce the opacity and flow, and click around the subject to get the soft edges. Yeah, I kept this off the brand the edge to make a blend. I know right now it feel like it don't make no sense. But once I bring the tree in, you finna understand. So just be patient, wait till the very end. And while we're at it, hit the like button and subscribe. Yeah, show me love. Yeah, you know the vibe. And I promise, know the boy you with a lot of rapping. This idea keeps popping. I deem planet spontaneous. Got me feeling like I'm from another planet. My feet landed, then the seeds planted it on the canvas oh my god what just happened y'all made me rap hit the like button it's all i ask why don't they just hit that like button and subscribe man stop making me rap make you subscribe sharp sharp so we can get back to the reason why we are here thank you also back to the art of photo manipulation right now i want to make this a black and white it's going to be a black and white theme that works so i have to create a black and white adjustment layer for this and once that is done uh, i just want to increase the black you no know, adding more black in there and just to make it more dramatic and more artistic 
now let's bring in our trees and once i bring this tree down beneath the model you see it automatically blends with the skin that's because our model already have soft edges so it's just simple like that and then i'll bring in another tree and i just want this one to take the the edges of the the texture i just need the texture of the tree to take the edges of the model right there and that's the idea and yeah you have to like take your time with placing this so you can sit perfectly however you want it to be remember it's all subjective at this point there's no rule to this so i'm just trying to place it the best way that i see fit and that's the idea and then i can knock off the parts that i don't want by masking it yeah you know we already discussed the concept of masking so that shouldn't be new to you so i'll just keep doing my thing you know adjusting and tweaking and duplicating the trays and keep placing it however i see fit at this point is all subjective i already explained the concept of masking so all i'm doing right now is all subjective it's not mandatory it's no rule of formula to this i just try to make adjustments and place the plants however i see fit all right so i'm just trying to maintain the edges right now i'm trying to create that three texture at the edge all right and then i can proceed to like creating bringing in more trees and stuff so that's basically what i'm doing so it's all about positioning and once i get the right position i uh, just mask it out uh, mask out the parts that i don't need and that's it i think this is looking good yeah okay now it's time to bring in more trees and i'll be doing that bringing in more trees and position it it's not looking i'm not getting this placement right it's not giving me the vibe that i really want feels like i'm almost forcing it at this point well I'll figure it out. Yeah. Mm, let's bring it up. Yeah, this works. You see? That's what I'm talking about. There's no rule to this. It's not like I've, I have it all figured out and stuff. I just keep experimenting. Yeah. I'm duplicating a lot right now at this point, and I'm just. <laughs> I'm creating a mess. It's looking like a lot is going on. However, I'm just going to keep everything in there and I'll just place everything there. At some point, I have to knock off some branches off. But right now, I just want to put everything on the canvas and just keep working on it until I get it to the point of which I'm satisfied with the results. And that was my approach to this. yeah so right now i feel like i should like increase the the texture and clarity for the image just so it's sharp and you know have that gritty feel and uh, yeah that's more like it and I, I should do the same for the plant also that's the tree so i increase the sharpness and increase the vibrance of the tree increase the sharpness and also increase the clarity and you know And then I also work a little bit on the curve and you know it's really just my own way of creating this surreal art style and I apply the same thing for the other trees too and there's something I always do I try not to rasterize my image so that I can always work on the original image and then it, that takes effect on the artwork itself so maybe i'll do a separate tutorial breaking that concept down the idea down so i'll do that so once again i worked on the image again i wasn't giving me exactly what i wanted so i in increase the sharpness once again increase the vibrance and increase clarity and you know i just kept tweaking it i kept tweaking and making adjustments and stuff 
here i worked on the background make it a little brighter added more white in there for the gradient background you know so that the contrast is better all right yeah and then i created this um color lookup to give it that soft warm tone all right and i reduced it obviously i reduced the color lookup layer all right and i think we have something here I, I would have to speed this up you know to make my final adjustments and stuff so once i'm done we're gonna see the final results And here we have it this is the final result. this is what we have i did a lot of adjustment knocked off a lot of branches i mean fruitless branch they had a go they had a go and that's it guys we are done with this session hope you enjoyed the video as much as i did and if you did enjoy the video please hit that like button and subscribe to my youtube channel my name is Dario the creator and don't forget always dare to create until next time peace